the silver bar. One of these bad boys will set you back a cool 125 GP on the Grand Exchange. However, I'm an Iron Man and thus can't use the Grand Exchange. And not only am I an Iron Man, I'm an extreme one chunk Iron Man and so I can't even mine and smelt a silver bar at level 20 mining and smithing because within my chunks I don't have access to a pickaxe. For this reason I've had to think outside of the box, however there were no thoughts to be had outside of the box. Getting the silver bar was impossible. Until, luckily, in the last episode, Jagex bailed me out. They created the single worst skilling activity ever, Forestry Part 2. And as part of this, for the cheap price of 50,000 GP per XP, I could pay scouts to source tiny amounts of hunter XP within my chunks via foxes. Today, we finish off our quest for the low, low cost of 400 mil. A single silver bar will be mine. If you're enjoying the weekly uploads, please like, comment and subscribe. It is really appreciated and helps push the videos out there. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy this one. All right, here we go. We've got a PK and he does have the agility level and he is smiting us. So this isn't a good look particularly. Uh, what we're going to try and do then. Run around. Oh, we've thrown him. Ah, go on. Oh, okay, he's going the other way. Ah, have we got it? No, 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 run back. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, I did him so good. That is so funny. <laughs> he got fucking wrecked. Oh, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to put in one of those clips of someone getting wrong-footed. Um, like in uh, American football or whatever. That was crazy, bro. Oh, that was my favourite escape, yeah. Oh no, it's this fella again. Is this is this the guy just wrong footed? I think it might be, mightn't it? Yeah, he's got 75 agility. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's gonna make that mistake again. I'll tell you what though, if we escape again, this guy has been embarrassed. Come on, let's get him. Okay, I know you can do it, so I'm gonna go the opposite way. Go on. No! Oh, we so nearly had that! Oh, if he hadn't caught that freeze, we'd have been laughing. Oh shit, I'm not nearly out of food, I didn't even realise. Ugh, come on, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna run and pretend to jump. See ya! <laughs> oh, I've just had him again! Oh my god, I've pulled this guy's pants down so badly. That is so funny! <laughs> oh, you have been destroyed on screen for, what, 50,000 people to watch? Oh, look, you, you've lost respect. You can't respect yourself. I don't respect you. The audience don't respect you. Your wife and kids, they feel let down by your lack of... of of game knowledge. Oh, <laughs> that's the best thing that's happened to me all week. <laughs> oh, I can't get over how much I just had that guy's pants down. That is deserved for the PK community as a whole, taking my uh, first crossbow. Oh, good times, good times. As you know, we don't take sponsorships on this channel, but I'm excited to announce that the Frey merch store has finally dropped over at FreyRS.com. I spent a lot of time putting together the website as well as the collection, so please check it out because this is absolutely the best way to support me in my goal of going full-time into content creation. I'd like to think I've covered all bases and what people might like to see. I've got the headline art piece, The Journey So Far, Muratonia arc, available on both canvas and metal posters, as well as on ultra-premium hoodies, sweaters, and t-shirts. 
The artist Maximus did a really great job of telling the story of the first four episodes of Can of Fish Chunk, so please show these some love if you like his design. I think it looks amazing, but maybe I'm biased. I'm thinking I might get a three-foot poster for my home office. Personally, for me, the wearables, I tend to buy more subtle designs when purchasing RuneScape merch. Here is a picture of me and my wife wearing some of the OG Swamp Letics merch. So for people like me, I've got a couple more simple designs, the Canifish Chunk signature and the Chunk lines. With the Chunk merch, I've made it available in kids and baby grows too, so that all the mums and dads out there can kit their babies and toddlers out in something meaningful to them, whilst also calling your kid a cute little chunk too. I fully intend on getting a matching pair for my daughters, so look out for that in uh, upcoming videos. This is my first ever merch drop, but hopefully not my last. I intend to make further additions to the Journey So Far lines and will discontinue the art over time as the account progresses further into the grinds of Chunk Man. So if you like it, please get it now whilst you can. It sounds like Jagex are going to be hosting a Rune Fest in 2024 and it would be incredibly cool to see you guys with some of my stuff there, particularly some of this OG stuff in this release. I hope there is something in the collection that sticks out to you, and if there is, I'd love to see a picture of you wearing it or hanging it on your walls. Thank you so much for listening to this little self-sponsorship ad read. Anyway, back to the video. So I believe it is the first clip of the video. The last video has just gone up about 45 minutes ago. It's doing pretty well, which is good. I've just had a Jmod, Mr. Manked Up Mage, comment on it. So we're clearly doing something right, which is very good. And the first clip of uh, this video, and I'm not entirely sure at this point whether it's relevant to the title or not, is going to be level... 85 range which is kind of massive isn't it like that is a level um that's like kind of in my head when i think yeah it'd be all good to go and do zolra now so um we've kind of got a zolra level account which is kind of poggers man um we're getting protected by our buddy soup here super soaker um which i like as a name let's see if he can take out its camel with the web weaver bow um, he mentioned when he showed up that he's not very good, so <laughs> I guess we'll see if that's the case. Um, but yeah, let's see if our boy manages to kill this guy. It doesn't look like it's going particularly well so far, <laughs> I must say. Uh, hopefully he can turn things around though, that web weaver bow is strong. It's looking a bit evenly matched now, they've kind of chanced each other a couple of times. Our boy here with a web weaver bow does himself have a god sword, so he's got a bit of KO potential. Um, hopefully my boy Super Soaker can... Oh. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Thank you Super Soaker. What in the fuck is this? Is this a new, a new random event? I've checked your account. You have a direct account. You have a set of bank pin. You pass my checks. Enjoy your. Okay. <laughs> it is a Wednesday, so I'm guessing something has happened. Uh, that's that's that Jagex have done. Is that permanent? Do I just get a free lamp every so often? I mean, that was a random event, wasn't it? Surely, I mean, uh, do I, what do I want a lamp now? Slayer? Or Hunter? Hmm. Right, so benefit of Hunter is if I get to 32 for young implings, I can get a bowstring. The only issue with getting the bowstring is, yes, it gets me a better bow in the form of the magic short bow and the U short bow, but the only places I have to use those bows at the moment is at Revenants, where I'm going to be sculled the whole time, and therefore, if I die, I'm going to lose said bow. Um, and, you know, getting the bowstring from the young implings will just take longer, I think, than using... I don't know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> There's not been any earthquakes where I live. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use the bow, because to get a bowstring back from young implings is just going to be so much ag that it won't be worth the mild accuracy increase that I'm going to get from it. 
so I think that's probably a bad idea. Um, so I think... I mean, what do I get from Slayer? What Slayer creatures do I have unlocked? So I've got the Slayer Tower. Uh, if I get to level 45, I'd have Infernal Mages. Um, it's just kind of pointless. So any goals with the Slayer are so far away, just to the point of being pointless. <laughs> um, what else could I lamp? Uh, agility, that'll just save me a bit of time. Farming can be interesting, I guess. Um, what else have we got? I don't think I can lamp runecraft in construction, maybe. Uh, I think it's probably just going to have to still be hunter, isn't it? Because I guess there's always going to be implinks that are worth unlocking. And I guess if I get a magic short bow before I get another more useful wilderness weapon, I could... Okay, um, if I get a magic short bow before another wilderness weapon, I could use that at things like green dragons. Uh, so that could be the idea. Right, yeah, let's stick it on Hunter. Fuck it. We're, we're sticking with the Hunter as our lamp of choice. That was a long clip to decide that, but <laughs> here we are. I'm guessing some kind of bot just had to teleport. Rest in peace, noted dragon plate skirt. I wish I could pick that up. They look so good on the ground. Last week I soft launched my Discord but I thought I'd chuck a clip in the video today so I can hopefully see even more of you in there. The invite link will be in the video description from here on out. See you there. Okay, so could I get um, the baby implings myself? The answer is yes. Uh, do I want to? No, I want to have some fun with the community, man. Let's let's grab some baby imps from some people, give away some money if we get it. So we're just going to give away 100 mil to the person that gets me the baby impling that gets me a silver bar in my inventory. So uh, chisel for Ganorf. Let's get back to hunting. So um, let's... Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it'd be more fun to uh, host a community event, get the uh, get the lads involved. Hopefully, someone wins a hundred mil uh, soon. It would be nice to uh, to get this wrapped up quickly and get on with the rest of the requirements that we need to get uh, to the werewolf course. And once we get to the werewolf course, we can start agility again, and that'll be big because it would be nice to have eighty nine within the revenant caves. Okay, this event got out of hand <laughs> very, very quickly. Look how many people there are in the friends chat uh, when I can join. If I can join. Imagine if it gets too full. There is, yeah. <laughs> this event got kind of out of hand. Um, 519, just west of the gates. What, look at this. Like, look how many there are. My God. Um, so we're at 80 baby implings at the moment. We haven't got a silver bar yet, but hopefully we will soon. Um, 100 mil to the guy that gets it. Hopefully it's this guy. Go on. Oh, no. I think it's... Who's the guy that's been calling it? Uh, that guy. Rip. All right. 421 now. Um, yeah, they're, they're not exactly uncommon, but I like, I like this idea of getting the community involved, and this has been quite a lot of fun. If I'd self-scouted 81 implings, it would have taken a lot longer than this. So, uh, yeah, I'm speeding it up for myself. It's fun as well, because look at the boys, and I know when someone gets it, they're going to be very, very hyped. This is quite nice, actually, because we've caught so many now, they're kind of sticking to the spawn region, so it's actually far easier to find them than it was earlier. Like, earlier I was having to run around a lot, whereas now a lot of them are, like, just respawning back in near the gate, and people are keeping them there. Uh, which is very nice. I need 491 as well. Go on. Okay. We're actually nearing <laughs> level 30, level 29 hunter. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, ball of wool. So many of those. So many. Right. 522 as well. Yeah, it'd be really nice to get to, like this is actually not bad as a hunter method. I don't know what the hunter XP per hour is. Uh, well, well <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, it's about, but it's about sixteen hundred. No, it must be more than that. I've done eighty in an hour, so oh yeah, sixteen hundred XP per hour. Yeah, that's not great. Um, but it doesn't feel too bad. 
Um, and hopefully we'll get this silver bar soon. We are up to 92. This will be 93rd. Nope. Uh, 494, 513. God, here we go. There is the 99th catch, and we are about to go and get catch number 100, so we're going to be hitting the drop rate. Level 29, but we didn't get the silver bar, so 100 baby implings. Uh, and we did not get the silver bar, but we did get level 29. So only one more to go until level 30. We're really kind of rattling through the levels. I mean, again, a very expensive way to play offering a bounty for this many baby implings, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, we wouldn't have to go too, too dry, I guess, to get, uh, to get the level for young implings, which would be quite hilarious, really. I tell you what, no stamina potions for this is terrible. I wish I had stamina potions so, so badly. Come on. Just running around on 0% run is so bleak. Come on, let's get it on number 103. Silver bar about to appear. Ah. <sighs> Ooh, we've just got a mud pie. Does that actually do anything? It's 1.8k, so I assume it must do something. Let's, uh, let's research what that is. Hold on. I thought that was a food item. It's an equip item? You throw it at people? <laughs> I'm very confused. Since when did that item exist? That is ridiculous. Oh, okay, I see. It's a fun weapon, I believe. So it's got like minus 100 stats and stuff. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, we've equipped some boots and a cape and our mud pie for the look. Luck. Let's go. Literally nothing. So we must have actually more than the 108 that are counted on the tracker at the moment. So we're actually going quite dry for this because we're 108 plus all of the ones that I've got nothing from. Um, so yeah, we're probably about 120 or so, I'd guess. A lob that's the first lobster that we've got, uh, which implies to me that that is a fellow one in 100. Rest in peace to Cheesy Peens. So I've looked at the log and there are 10 items that are a 1 in 100, same as the silver bar, so inclusive of the silver bar. Uh, and we have all of them at least once, if not twice, except the silver bar and the soft clay. So if we get soft clay before we get the silver bar, the silver bar is literally our last in a one, 1 in 100 drop. So that is sad. We're up to 130-ish now, uh, because the nothing drop, as it turns out, is a 1 in 10. So I've got 119 on the log, plus probably about 10% that are nothings. So yeah, we're, we're kind of getting now decently far past the drop rate, and we should hopefully be getting it soon. Right, I've got a really, really good feeling about this one. 480, world 485. It's a good number. It's a good number is 485. Let's get this silver bar, shall we? That was lucky. And there is another air talisman. Please, can we get the one in 100 that we actually want? Oh. Rip. Four, nine, three. So we just got our third spice, which is the same rate as the silver bar. So yeah, we're really getting unlucky now. We're up to about 170 baby impling captures without one, which is kind of brutal, I must say. A fourth spice before getting a single silver bar. Come on, this RNG is crazy. Imagine if I was actually scouting this myself and hadn't bothered to... Uh, get the old community involved. I'd have been here for like, I was getting about 10 per hour. So I'd have been here for 20 hours scouting these without getting one. This is wild, wild. Ready?
Oh, and there's another flax, up to two flax. I've nearly got two of everything except the silver bar and the soft clay, coincidentally. And another spice. Five spice, zero silver bars. Come on, the spice is just trolling me at this point. Oh, there's level 30 Hunter. That's a nice little side quest that we just got. Very nice. Uh, let's go to 341. Go on. I reckon this is the one. 341. Impling count number 179. Let's get it. Here we go. Go on. Never, ever, ever lucky. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it, Zlatan505 is the guy. There he is. Silver bar at number, what's that, 176 plus 18. So we're talking 194. There we go. 194 to get the silver bar, but we have it. There we go. Huge, huge, huge for the account. Right. Got to go uh, log and get my main and give this guy a 100 M's. Right. So I know I was saying at the start of this grind, oh, no, I don't need to, you know, I don't need to do this. It's, it's you know, it's just optional. I'm just doing it for some fun with the community, blah, blah, blah. Do you know what? I saved myself <laughs> so much time doing that. It is scary. I caught nearly 200 implings, which if I'd been self-scouting would have been about 20 hours, probably. So we saved ourselves a decent amount of time. There is the boys, Latan505, 100 mil for the Latan. There he goes. Hopefully he spends that nicely and enjoys it. But uh, yeah, main thing is we got the silver bar on Canifish Chunk and we can now proceed with the Creature Frankenstein quest. Well, here's the big thing. No, we can't. Because the, what we also need is three bronze wire. And if we can see here, this is kind of the problem. We need level four smithing to get a bronze wire. So... As per the rules in my series, I only need to train uh, uh, smithing 299, which is the level that I've currently got backlogged because I have a rune bar, if I get a primary method. So primary method would be, you know, a guaranteed drop of bars or, um, or mining the resources like the ores, like tin and copper, that kind of thing. Getting a one in 50 drop for a skeleton or whatever does not count as a primary training method, at least for me to get, you know, level 9 out. I don't have to train smithing and I don't have to train smithing to level four. I could complete the chunk I'm in without doing that. But I want to train it to level four and therefore I'm going to do a fucking stupid method just for f uh, three levels so that I can get the three bronze wires and therefore complete Creature of Fankenstrain, access the werewolf course, and start on my agility. <sighs> that was a long, uh, <laughs> a long old explanation, but hopefully you kind of understood all of that. Yeah, time to carry on. Well, not time to carry on. It's four minutes until my dinner time, so it was actually good that we got that uh, that we got that silver bar when we did. Good times. Cool, so let's take a little look at what we've got in the bank so far. Have we got any bronze bars? We've got one bronze bar there. Have we got any tin? One tin. Oh, we've got 10 copper. That's interesting. I think they're dropped. They're like a one in something stupid rate from uh, Black Knight. So I'm not sure how many bronze bars we're going to need to get to level four. Probably a decent amount. I, I mean, we're genu genuinely talking just to get to level four hundreds of skeleton kills probably mid hundreds maybe up to a thousand skeletons so you can see why getting level four which is like 280 xp might be somewhat achievable and getting level 99 so that we can do our runite bars is obviously not because you know i prefer not to spend the next 20 years of my life killing skeletons for bronze bars um but yeah we'll crack on with this and hopefully we'll get that quest knocked out soon holy holy fuck i just saw a youtube comment 
that there is an oak tree in Varrock, and he's absolutely fucking right. So when I was going through all that pain of like chopping trees on this account, basically unnecessarily, I could have just been doing anything that I liked, having everyone and myself chop this tree, and then just teleporting into Varrock straight away to uh, get the fox event. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who knew that was there? That has got to be a Mandela effect. That oak tree cannot have always been there. I mean, obviously it has been, but I have never seen it before. Any any of you guys ever spotted that before? That's bizarre. So I've just done some quick maths and we're talking. Uh, I need 21 bronze bars to get to level four. And I need three further than that to make the bronze wires for the quest once I once I get to level four. That looting bag betrays that I just died on mobile. Some guy level uh, 99 med using a heavy ballista killed me for my maple shortbow. Hope he enjoys that. Costs less than one of his uh, javelins that he used. Um, yeah, it's 12.5 XP per bronze bar. We need 252 XP, so we're talking 21 plus 3. Uh, so we need 24 bronze bars, and they are dropped at a rate of 1 in 26 from the skeletons uh, near Edgeville. So we need... To, uh, how many is that that we need to kill? So 24 times... 26, come on, I should be able to do that. 520 plus 104 equals 624 skeletons just to get to level 4 smithing, which is 276 XP. So I'm sure you can appreciate why I'm not going to be doing that method much further than that. Um, you know, it falls outside my rules and is definitely a meme grind. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan. I'll finish this revs trip and then I'll go and kill 624 on rate <laughs> skeletons or bronze bars. Oh, tell a lie. Actually, I don't need to kill 20. I don't need to kill that many because I've already got one bronze bar in the bank. And I've also got one tin ore and one copper ore that I can use. So I've actually got... 22 that I need to get and actually one less than that because one of them was just to get 2 XP and I'll get 6 XP from the smelting so what I actually need is 18 bronze bars dropped plus 3 so 21 total not too bad oh here we go this lad's actually got the uh, got the agility level as well so we're going to have to try and play it a bit smart around here see what we can do Hope that he splashes. Okay, let's try and run it around here. This can work sometimes. Can sometimes get the log. Go on. Yes. Oh, you see, you don't always need the agility shortcut. You just need to be good on the running. Oh. That was a bit tense. Oh, and here we go again. We've got a proper PK on us this time. Look at the gear. Look at that. Luckily, I can see he's only 65 agility, so we should get away, to be honest. Go come on, at least cast a button and tangle. Okay, there we go. He's cast one. Go and get the pro range on. I love the auto retaliate attacking back for you. That's really nice. Go on, kill the guy. <laughs> I thought I was going to get him for a second there. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> See ya! Okay, so fun little fact for you that I've just, I've just read on the wiki. So the werewolf course can actually be done with a 100% success rate if you've got level 80 agility which I'm pretty close to, and interestingly, level 80 strength. So you can only fail one 
part of the course, which is the death slide at the end, and it can can hit up to 30. Um, So, yeah, I really want to avoid getting hit by that as much as I can. Um, But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to need 80 strength, which is quite a lot. So I'm debating, should I... I'm thinking I should train up to 60 attack. Uh, It's so tough, isn't it? I guess I should just go and see what the rate is, to be fair. Um, But in an ideal world, I'd get the Vigorous Mace soon, and then I'd use that to get up to 80 strength, and then I'd start the agility at that point. Um, That seems kind of sensible to me if it's going to affect the rate by a lot, but I guess probably the key thing I need to do is just go and test it out and see what the rate is like. I think it's time to go and get ourselves some bronze bars. We've had enough uh, fun messing about with PKs for now. Uh, we're actually going to be quite close to the Ferox Enclave Bank doing this. So these Skelly Bobs are just down... Where do I do them? Uh, over here. So I can use this tree stump, these iron rocks, to uh, safe spot them quite effectively. Although, I'll be honest, 85 range and 40 defense, I probably don't need to safe spot them, do I? I've also got protect from melee these days, so I could just, you know, get stuck in, I guess. I get the protect melee up, and hopefully we can get some bronze bars soon. I've got, you know, basically unlimited money and bronze arrows, so I'm not even going to bother picking up the arrows. Uh, 600 and... Well, probably about 600 skeletons that we need to kill. Let's see if we've got any on the log. No, we don't. I'm guessing I'm hiding them. Yes, I am. Include their loot. Sorry, you couldn't see that. So that was all just for me. We're up to four skeletons so far. Let's see how many we need to do to get all the bronze bars that we do. I, in fact, ignore that whole last clip because I'm going to be I'm going to go inside soon and do most of this on mobile. So uh, I won't be able to keep track, but I will ha- hopefully come back with the bronze bars all the sooner. I always find when I'm going slightly overrate on something like this, I get paranoid that the wiki is just wrong. I'm convinced I've had bronze bars as a drop from these before, like personally. But, you know, I'm 38 in. No bronze bar to be seen yet. Just get you just, you know, gets you slightly nervous that your whole plan is gonna come crumbling down before your very eyes, you know, the one that you invested four hundred million GP into, that you invested uh you know, that, that you're you're hinging two hundred hours of your life into. I don't actually believe because that one doesn't have a sword or anything, I actually think that one doesn't drop a bronze bar. I think it's only the ones like with the weapons that do. Um, so that's something, but yeah, you know, I, I've invested so much time and energy into getting four smithing for a bronze wire that I'm just praying that these do actually drop the bronze bars. Come on. Okay, getting slightly more nervous here. We're at 70 kills with no bronze bar yet. Hopefully that comes in shortly, (laughs) please. Okay, that's 99 kills, and on to kill number 100. Still no bronze bar, which is supposed to be a 1 in 25, so I'm getting a bit nervous. Uh, rate my impression, though. I'm gonna, you know, I was gonna insert a little clip here of the uh, I don't get nervous guy, um, but I, I, you know, I'm gonna do an impression, then I'll play the clip, and you can kind of rate that out of 10. So, uh, I don't get nervous. But, you know, I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know. And now I'll play the clip. I don't get nervous, but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know what I mean? I'm a little bit weak. I mean, the fact I'm 105 dry on this now is exactly why we don't treat this as a primary training method, because I've killed 106 skeletons and haven't received one item, that gives me 12 and a half smithing XP. So uh, yeah, you can see why getting a million bronze bars to get 99 ru- uh, 99 smithing for the rune 2H is off the cards. Because, uh, you know, I've not got, you know, I've got a lot of time for this game, but I don't have 108 million skeletons worth. <laughs> This whole get 21 bronze bars, no worries thing is starting to stress me out a bit. I was supposed to go to bed about 15 minutes ago, 
but I was like, oh no, I'll just get the first bronze bar at least. 142 kills against what should be a 25 drop rate. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit worried that these don't drop them at all. I swear I've had them off this, though. I swear I've had bronze bars off this exact creature. I swear. Right, I'm going to have to call it there. 150 kills. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to do some on mobile. So hopefully I'll come back tomorrow and go, Hey, don't worry, guys. I got seven bronze bars last night. But we shall see. Okay, so after 500 kills on mobile, as well as the 200 we put in uh, over here, or the 150 we did on, on PC, I can confirm these skeletons do not drop a bronze bar. So the wiki says they should. They're level 25 and they're armed, you know, they're holding weapons. That is the criteria that the wiki reckons gives a bronze bar. So... The weirdest thing about this, though, is where these five guys near the rocks do not drop a bronze bar, this one skeleton, who, bear in mind, look at him, right? What's he got? Hammer, round shield, helmet, right? Level 25. When compared to... Where is he? Sword round shield helmet. I mean, how is that other guy? Oh, yeah, here's another, here's another one. Look, hammer, shield, helmet, right? Level 25. Doesn't drop the bronze bar. Does drop the bronze bar. What on earth is that about? What criteria have they possibly come up with that justifies that? That's mental. Um, so, yeah, this fella here does, in fact, drop the bronze bar and all the other items. So not only did those other skeletons not drop a bronze bar, they also didn't drop a random selection of the loot that is possible. So they drop, they don't drop iron medium helmets unless you're on free to play, in which case they do. They don't drop iron scimitars, for example. Um just weird like there's just a weird difference in the drop table for some reason so this is the this is going to be the way that i'm going to do it uh it's just hopping worlds and killing this one skeleton over and over which is way more tedious than just killing the five of them that were there but this way we can at least guarantee ourselves the bronze bars as opposed to whatever weirdness is going on with the <laughs> with the ones over there but uh yeah I have confirmed because i received one on mobile that this guy does drop the bronze bar Okay, I'm starting to get slightly concerned again. We're at 75 kills of this skeleton without a bronze bar again. I, I could swear last night I literally did this and got a bronze bar. I feel like, you know, I'm this close to going over and just checking in the bank to see if I've got an extra bronze bar. What is with my RNG? Come on. I've just got to loop half of key before getting a single bronze bar. How rare is that? Come on, we're on 92 kills. Come on. We just got an uncut sapphire as well. That's not even on the drop table. I swear. Oh my god. Right. I definitely got a bronze bar last night. Definitely. The only thing I'm not 100% confident on is whether I was on a member's world or not. I feel like I was. But we're now five times the drop rate. We're at 125 kills for a 1 in 25 item. So... I'm thinking, let's hop it to free to play and see what happens, I guess. Right, they exist. Free to play, in at least in free to play, they exist. There is one bronze bar, 35 kills in free to play. So I guess that is what, somewhat accurate to the rate, which is supposed to be one in 25. But I swear yesterday I got it on, I got it on members. <laughs> I'm so baffled. Okay, they at least exist. They do exist. I'm not going mad. I, I just feel like the rate just isn't 1 in 25. Like, something about it just seems off to me. I've, I've been very dry on a lot of stuff, and I just think, yeah, I think it, they're like short printed versus the, <laughs> versus the rate to uh, borrow an expression from uh, card games. Okay, yeah, I wasn't going mental. I did get a bronze bar yesterday, so we're now up to three. This is proving to take a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I thought I'd be able to rattle through these like 600 skeletons pretty easy, but we're up to 
well over 500 skeletons and only got two bronze bars. So hopefully, in fact, I'm going to grab some more arrows. Hopefully, that's okay. I should probably swap my range gear, shouldn't I? It's like studded or something. Oh, I should put a, a rune... I'll put a rune full... Ha no, rune med helm, because that doesn't give negative range bonus. Uh, and I'll put... In fact, it's green... Green Dehyde is members, isn't it? Uh, Non-members. So if I do Green Dehyde and Studded Body, I should be able to wear all that, right? Yeah, look at that. Free-to-play setup is booming. Uh, we'll grab the rest of our bronze arrows. I'll probably just grab my iron ones as well. And let's get back to it. Can I use these pools in free-to-play? If I can, free-to-play is a lot more uh, content-rich than I thought. Look at that. Nice. Nah, we're another 80 dry. I don't understand. These drop, this this NPC drops this at a supposed rate of one in 25. And yet on my loot tracker, I have 396 skeleton kills, all of them for armed skeletons. And I've got one bronze bar. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Right, I've gone back to pay to play. We just did a hundred and free to play without anything, so I don't particularly think it affects everything. They must just be not the drop rate that the wiki says that they are. <laughs> Reckons it's a one in twenty five. Yeah, right. I mean, I've seen. I I don't know if they've changed it though, because I've seen. Um, there's this uh picture on Reddit of someone who's killed a thousand of what I believe is this exact NPC. And he's got 34 bronze bars in 1,000 kills. So that kind of lines up with the numbers you might expect if the drop rate was 1 in 25. So uh, I just don't get it. I, uh, this just doesn't seem right to me. Like, you've seen that this NPC has dropped me a bronze bar. Like, it literally has, like, in front of my very eyes. So twice. So it does drop it. It just must mean that the drop rate is just categorically wrong on uh, on the wiki weird yes no it must have been in members when i got the last one because it went into my looting bag and you can't access the looting bag in free to play so yeah definitely got it in members so the bronze bar drop does exist in members as well <sighs> am i just this unlucky this seems unlikely though doesn't it Right, I'm going to try these level 22 ones and see what the deal is, see if... Because they are armed as well, visually. So potentially they're better. Although are they, or do they just have a shield? Mm. <laughs> well, we'll see what the drop table is on them. If I start getting stuff from the armed drop table, then maybe these, maybe these are what I need to be killing. I just don't think so, though. This has all just been very, very confusing. Okay, now those ones are definitely unarmed because that just dropped two coins and that is only a possible drop from an unarmed one, whereas this guy drops the right amounts of coins. I'm so confused, man. Uh, I've never seen the wiki be wrong before, but I refuse to believe this This isn't wrong. It just, it just This cannot be a 1 in 25 that I've got 1 in over 400 kills. And more on mobile that just isn't right and there is another bronze bar this time confirmed in pay to play uh we're at like way over what is it really? yeah we're at 130 something kills since the last one so maybe it's a one in 128 and the wiki's just wrong saying it's a one in one in 25 that's the only thing i can think but yeah Hopefully, hopefully I'm just moaning and I'm just really dry and I turn around and get like 10 in a row. That would be really nice, but we'll see. Oh, we just got another one about 10 kills later. Maybe I'm just going biblically unlucky on these. That would be crazy. I mean, I'll have just spent five minutes bitching and moaning, but really? That would be nuts if that's the case. Like, that is insanely dry to go multiple hundreds dry back to back on a 1 in 25. But maybe that's the case. And there is another one, but about 25 kills later. So yeah, looks like we did literally just go 
insane, like 200 dry on a 1 in 25. Twice. Uh, so, okay, well, that's good, because it means that hopefully I can start getting these bronze bars a bit more frequently, and uh, we can even out our drop rate a bit more, and hopefully get this uh, smithing knocked out today. And another one, like 10 kills later again. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> this is a 1 in 25 and I was just bitching and moaning for no reason. Okay, we just got another one after 80 dry. So yeah, it just seems like the drop rates are just pretty variable and I'm getting pretty unlucky. But yeah, we're, we're picking them up now. We've got kind of eight or so in the bank. So we're about a third of the way through. Um, so yeah, if we can finish it up before 1500 uh, skeletons, I'll be pretty happy. I should, if I hit drop rate, be finishing it up before 1000, but we shall see. And there is the 10th bronze bar from the skeletons, only about 10 to go. I'll, uh, once I bank this in band, I'll work it out precisely, and I will know exactly how many we've got to go, but I can feel this, uh, the creature of Frankenstein completion edging closer and closer and closer. So that is going to be very exciting. Right, the looting bag is starting to look a bit healthier now. We've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in there, plus an extra three in the invent. So that was a decent little trip. We are up to where are our bronze bars, there they are. So what, we're up to 17? That's not even bad, is it? Look at that, 17, right, I just need to do some calculations on how many more I need. I believe we've still got our ore, yes, yeah, so we've got one bronze bar in the ore. Uh, so let's just do the calcs. Right, so by my calculations, I only need five more bronze bars, which should be 125 kills. We shall see how we get on with that. We're at 743 skeleton kills at the moment, plus you know, another two or three hundred on mobile, so we're at about 900 uh, kills, uh, 950 kills for a grind that should have taken us about 500, but good that the RNG is finally sort of evening out a bit, when we're, we're no longer doing like 500 kills for two bars or anything, so uh, yeah, a bit of a brutal start, but we're kind of back at it now. I, I, I literally don't understand, we went like 200 dry for one bar, and in three kills, I just got two. Uh, <laughs> this is, like, even though it's such a small item, this is the weirdest RNG I've ever had for a grind. It got so bad, I actually bothered to tweet Ash about whether this rate was correct. I mean, evidently it is now, but, I mean, <laughs> that was just bizarre. So much variance. You must be joking, it's like five kills later and I've got another one. All that's in this looting bag is three bronze bars. Right, two to go. I swear to fucking God, it's been like three kills. It's been... It, what? What is going on? What? <laughs> How? How? How did I do like 300 kills for one bronze bar? And now I've had four in about 20. I'm so baffled. Maybe, <laughs> maybe like the drop table is like, uh, you know, attached to the phases of the moon or some bollocks. Uh, right, one more bronze bar to go. What the actual fuck? <laughs> look at the worlds. Look at the worlds. Look at the worlds. I've gone from so I've got done four. There we go. Four bars, one in the invent. That is fucking crazy. Right, let's go. So what we need to do now is just smith these. Irritatingly, to get the final bit of XP, I have to go to Port Phasmatis. Um, so I've got to go all the way to... Is that, in fact, actually, is that the only furnace we've got these days? Uh, no furnaces open. Ooh. No. Uh, oh, my God, what am I doing? Right, no furnaces over there, none down there. Yeah, we're gonna have to go all the way to Port Phasmatis to 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 smelt one bronze bar to get the level, but and then what? Teleport all the way back to Varok for the anvil, and then all the way back over here to finish the quest. Brilliant! But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get on with that now. First time actually doing this random event. Let's get the free frog token. Can't go wrong. Twenty eight collection log slots. Not bad. So I just accidentally stepped into the chunk up here 
uh, for the first time. So you can tell that every single time I've traversed across the Port Phasmatis, I have gone through the miserable haunted wood up until now when I accidentally just unlocked the music track for stepping into that chunk. I don't really know what happened, and I didn't even really notice until <laughs> until I'd done it. Um, but we did get that music track, unfortunately, which is a bit gutting. Uh, but, you know, at least if I've recorded it at... Uh, how far into the account? 36 days into the account, you know that I at least wasn't doing it for the 36 days that it was available. So what we need to do is just smith this, smelt this bronze bar, which is the whole reason we had to track all the way over here. And that gives us 7 XP and we should now be 245 XP until level 4. So what we're going to do is grab for I need those. And now I need my hammer. Uh, we're going to grab, should have 22 bronze bars, yeah, so I'm going to grab another noted items, get in the bin. Um, so we're going to grab those, 20 of them, and we're going to grab our hammer, and we're going to teleport to Varrock, and we're going to make 20 of something to get to level 4 smithing. Uh, so this does not matter uh, for progression in the account because I don't have to do this. This isn't a skilling method that counts under the rules because the drop of the bronze bar is way higher than the 1 in 16 rate that we set for it. But yeah, here we go, making some bronze daggers. Uh, do we unlock anything at level 2? Probably not. Oh, we do. Um, well, I don't know, I might have been able to make all that stuff already. Make some maces. Look how quick this is. Smithing is nice when you've already got the bars. Getting the bars, less so. Uh, but here we go, approaching level three. So little XP per bar, isn't it? That's so depressing. Um, I'm so glad I haven't unlocked any smithing grinds yet. Let's make ourselves... Oh, the bolts might be... No. no, the bolts. Yeah, the bolts might be useful one day. Uh, 12 XP per one, so I'm hoping my maths is exactly right and we're just going to tick over to uh, to level 4 on the last bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, we will, we will, we will. Right, here we go. So, big, big level on the account. Level 4 smithing for a bronze wire. So, not a level that we had to do by any means, but doing so... Uh, by doing some bullshit method is going to unlock us the ability to go and do creature of Fenkenstrain. So we're going to grab the remainder of our bronze bars and our hammer again. <laughs> and we're going to go make those into bronze wire, grab our silver bar, and then we should be good to go and get creature of Frankenstrain finished. So here come the bronze wires. We need three of them. One, a two... And three, there we go. Right, so let's go finish this quest then. Right, there is our extended brush. That took our three poles that we had and our three bronze wire. So that item there is the only reason we had to go and kill about a thousand skeletons to get bronze bars. And aside from that, we just need to go and repair the lightning conductor and job should be a good one. So we got, we used the extended brush, we got the mold, and it turns out we need to go back to any furnace. And the only furnace we have is in Port Phasmatis. So I have to go all the way back to Canifis Bank, grab some Ecto tokens and our Ghost Speak, which luckily we still have, and head back to Port Phasmatis. So I spent 400 million GP and many, many hours of my life getting this silver bar. And we're about to turn it into a lightning rod. Lightning rod, there we go. There is our 400 million GP conductor. Let's go, uh, let's go attach it. Right, time to get rid of our lightning conductor. It costs 400 million GP, and there it goes. We no longer have it. Go back to the first floor and speak to Sir Dr. Finkenstrand. Sorry, that was probably a borderline racist accent. <laughs> I feel like Randy, like just doing things that I shouldn't be. 
I feel like really naughty for having gone and uh, trained my hunter through such a wonky method to be able to do this. This is uh, this is great. I can see why he gets addicted to the feeling of just like doing slightly untoward things. This is fucking great. So here we go. About to complete the quest. There we go. Ring of Charos achieved. That is massive. That is werewolf agility right there. So let's go take this ring and see if we can talk to the uh, werewolf and get into the course. So here we go. This is the moment of truth, I guess. How can I get to the werewolf? Who's beneath the trap door? Okay, I've got my ring. Hold on. Oh, I thought for a second then I had to do something else before I could go in. Okay, West is the main agility course. Okay, bark it. <laughs> I just had a mini heart attack. Okay, so there we go. Here we are. Good times. We are down at the Werewolf Agility course. Let's, uh, should we give it a run? Give it a go. 10 XP. Look at this. Run over here. So you can't fail any of these uh, obstacles until the last one, but the last one can hit you 30s. So I crawl through, I need to then grab the stick, like so, and then climb up this skull slope. I teeth grip down here. This is the one that you can hit. This is the death slide, as it's known. 200 XP for the completion, and you give the stick to the agility trainer for 380 XP. Werewolf agility, lap count one. Did you see how much XP that was relative, relative to the cannabis course? This is bonkers. I mean, right, let's uh, reset the tracker and see, you know, what the XP per hour is. Right, let's go. So, I know this won't be 100% accurate, but let's add that to canvas. I love that it's like one tick to hop across the stones and stuff. It's like a really actually quite interactive course, which is nice. Like, look at that. That's pretty nice. Like, I definitely lost a tick there by being crap. Um, but there we go. Grab the stick. Up the slope. It's actually quite a nice little course, to be fair. Uh, let's teeth grip down the zip line. Off we go. Do we make it the whole way? Yes, we do. Give the stick to the guy. And back to it. Look, the whole course takes about 38 seconds, supposedly. Oh, so I need to run like this, run to there, and then go. Oh, that's so nice. That's actually really interactive and cool being able to do that so quickly. So uh, let's keep going. Definitely losing ticks. Yeah, this is actually like a skillful agility course relative to... Some of the others, right? So sticks over here. Oh, so the stick can move. That's interesting. Uh, run over here. So we're starting to tick down. So we should see the XP per hour. So once we hand the stick in, we'll kind of have a slightly closer to a representation. Um, Two hundred XP again, and then another three hundred eighty. So yeah, this is probably going to be about sixty k XP per hour. The only issue is that I'm going to run out of run energy, so it's not going to be as quick as people might think, but it's going to be better. It's going to be substantially better than the Caliphus course was. This is massive, and all we need to do is get to level twenty nine. Uh, 89. 29? 29 would be nice, wouldn't it? Sorry, I'm used to talking about Hunter, not Agility. But yeah, level 89 really shouldn't be too bad on this course with the with the run energy. Maybe I should do some laps walking only, and then I'll be able to see like a worst-case scenario. Um, and then I'll be able to just always get at least that, possibly more if I've got run energy. So that, so that can happen. So I only hit 5 there, but you can see I fell off early, so I only got hit 5. But I need to get my strength up because that affects the fail rate. And I need to get my agility up as well because apparently that... So once you hit 80 strength and 80 agility, you should never fail, which is good. So uh, yeah, let's... These stone... That's nice being able to do the one tick stones. Um, but yeah, let's see what the XP per hour is walking only. And uh, yeah, this is game changing, game changing. 
So walking the entire time, and I failed the uh, the death slide. Uh, I'm getting 42k XP per hour, which is substantially better than the Canopus course, which was about 18 if I was really paying attention, more like sort of 14 if I wasn't. So yeah, we've cut hundreds of hours off our agility grind by spending all that money and that time getting a silver bar. So I would say hugely worth it. And doing this to 89 is going to be relatively a breeze. Oh look, one of the things that you can tell. So when I was at the Canopus course, it's always said 15,000 laps to go until the goal. Here, less than 5,000 laps to go. So yeah, basically cut our time down by three. And these laps are slightly faster as well. They should be about 38 seconds if running. Uh, so yeah, this is very, very nice. Oh, I can't believe how hyped I am for this. This is so good. Mr. Eminem here coming in with actually a very good point. Forestry part two, pretty much unilaterally hated by the entire community, except me and my hunter level, because without forestry part two, I would not be here right now. So big up Jagex for releasing shit, low effort, poorly thought out content, because it is beneficial for me personally. Yeah, that's what can happen. Just got here 27 falling off there and reduced my XP by quite a bit. Uh, you can see why I need all the food, but the food weighs me down, which then makes me fail more. So it's a bit of a kind of sick, a bit of a circle in that way. Um, so what I really need is to get to 80 strength and 80 agility, and then I shouldn't fail that at all. And then I won't need the food and, you know, it will just all be a nicer experience for me. Uh, but what I need to do to get that is to what? I basically need a Vigorous Chain Mace because it would be idiotic of me to train my strength all the way to like 80 with an Adamant Sword when I'm going to be getting a Vigorous at some point in this chunk anyway. So yeah, I need to decide what order I want to do things in. I'm not going to get level 89 agility here and now. I think I'm just going to kind of do this on and off with other things. Um, it's no longer quite the insane grind it once was when I was going to do it at the Canifis course. So I think I can probably knock 89 out relatively quickly, but I think I would still be a bit of an idiot to just do that before getting the Vigorous Chain Mace. So we're probably going to go back to revs for a little bit, see if we can get a mace soon. And I'll maybe do this like in the evenings and stuff. That might be the nicest way to do it. Right, here we go. We're going to try and do this guy. I nearly died there, just getting the recorder up. We're going to try and do this guy just like we did that other one. Here we go. No, he didn't fall for it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. <laughs> I don't think I've actually got, like, hardly anything. Is he just going to... Is he all right? <laughs> he just literally let me get away. What a noob. That's immense. <laughs> oh, I just saw Big Batty Paul, the PK bot, get absolutely shredded by this guy. That was class. <laughs> Things you love to see. Right, so I've decided that, you know, I need, I'm need. i going to get the Vigorous Chain Mace eventually. I want to train my strength up for the Whale Fragility course, so I may as well now just start training my attack up. Because I think if I don't, you know, I'm just going to end up paying for it later on, right? So I'm going to get my attack to 60, ready to get the Vigorous Chain Mace. And then when I get the Vigorous Chain Mace, I'll then just be able to train strength straight away. But there is 41, first attack level. I think I should be able to get to 60 attack without becoming, uh, without my combat level. Oh yeah, there we go. 31 attack or strength levels before I get a combat level. So... Yeah, that's kind of perfect then, isn't it? So yeah, I could get up to 60 pretty easily and almost 70 strength before becoming melee based again. So yeah, that's going to be the plan. Get 60 attack now. I am going to skull up and see if I can chance a rev weapon, but I thought, you know, I may as well train up here, right? At Revenants and, and have the rolls on the table. I guess actually a good idea could be maybe to go to experiments in the Fenconstrain castle chunk, but... 
even though that would be better XP, probably, I wouldn't have the rolls on the rev table that I would here. What do you think's better? Hard to say, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Should I stay here and get the attack levels and get the crappy rolls off the Revenant Imps? Or should I just go to experiments, knock out the level ASAP, and then come back and kill Pyrophenes properly? Tough to say, really, isn't it? Right, so I think the best thing I can do is probably just test the XP per hour in both places and then do the push his glasses up emote maths to uh, decide which one would be better based on the drop rates. So, yeah, I'll get the XP. I'll get a rough XP per hour for doing the imps. I'll then head to experiments and get a rough XP per hour for that. And then I'll do the maths on if, you know, with the hours saved from doing it ex ex at experiments, would I be able to have more rolls on the Revenant table by spending the hours I saved at the Pyrophenes doing them properly with a maple shortbow, basically. Although, I must be the only fucking chump in the world that says doing Revenants properly with a maple shortbow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let, let's, let's do the maths. I severely, severely wish this was me <laughs> again. Although it looks like an actual player, group Iron Man lag rather than just a random bot. So at least there's that. Oh, that just makes me miss my own crossbow <laughs> sometimes. Cool, so the XP per hour on the imps is about 13k. Let's call it 12 and a half with banking and escaping from BKs and stuff like that. So, uh, in fact... I'll call it 12 actually because it's it ticks down quite quick so we'll call it 12k xp per hour uh for the imps and then i'll go try out the experiments and see what the xp per hour is there all right and here we are at the experiments looking like a fucking chad so the uh the rune dagger is actually better than our sword but i can't use it at revenants because i could lose it and i can't get it back as easily as the Addy sword so i guess that's a reason to do the experiments as well Let's give them a go. So I believe they have 100 hit points and pretty low defense. So, uh, yeah, let's just get stuck in. I... Uh, oh, God, I can't talk. I absolutely love doing this, uh, doing that event and getting a lamp now. That's just so good. Uh, there we go, 300 Hunter XP. Let's crack on with this. So it looks like the XP per hour here is about 20k. So it is a lot better, and it will continue to get better in a way that the imps don't. So the imps, even though I hit more often on them, they're like despawned quite a lot of the time. Um, so this is quite good. It's also very AFK. So it's going to take me, what, 11 hours at this exact XP rate to get up to 60 attack. Not too bad in, in reality. And I think what I should probably do is just save doing this for a time that I can be AFK, or I need to be AFK, um, because, yeah, this is like, what, a click a minute, something like that, which is pretty low in reality. So, yeah, I think I might just save this for when I need to AFK and do this. That seems like the best. I'm not particularly in a rush to get 60 attack. It would just be nice. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll just split this up over time and do it slowly. Okay, quite a big level coming in here. Not the level 47 attack, but total level of 1,000. I wonder if we'll ever make it to 2,000 on this account. That would be pretty crazy. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> that would be me going absolutely wild. But uh, yeah, 1,000 total level. Nice little milestone. Could go and lock in the uh, Iron Man status forever if that's still a thing. I think it is. Um, but yeah. We, so I decided on the experiments um, because it's going to be 11 hours versus about 19 hours. And in the eight hours I'd save, I could get about 1,100 Pyrofiend kills, which is about, what, about 20, 25% of a unique at Revenants. Whereas the 19 hours I'd spend at imps is about is about sort of 18 to 20 percent of a unique. So not only would I get more of a unique chance by doing it at the 
experiments and then using range at the uh, pyrophenes. But this is also incredibly relaxed in comparison. So, yeah, not only is this more efficient, but it's also better. So, yeah, experiments, good. Now, don't let the naysayers say that I can't grind off screen. There is 60 attack. Uh, I believe that was just one clip uh, between getting 47 and 60. So, yeah, that was a pretty big grind. But we are ready now to train strength as soon as we get the Vigorous Chain Mace. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go head, head and do some agility for the evening. Good times, good times. Oh, and I guess I'll chuck this uh, this lamp on Hunter now that I'm... Uh, now that I'm recording, here we go. Uh, there we go. Job done. Just 600, oh, 529 XP to go until level 31. I'll tell you what, it is crazy depressing that trout is like one of my best foods I can use. I mean, obviously I could buy some more from there, but I just have the trout in the bank and anything that I can buy from there in any decent quantity isn't much better. But yeah, just having such crap food to go and do the werewolf course with is bleak. But at least we can do the werewolf course, which makes a fucking nice change. These people are just so boring. Nice. Well executed. Good job. Right, Let's see if he's got the agility. He doesn't. What a surprise! Oh, it's just I like, got here like five fucking seconds ago. Like, leave me alone. I'm not even killed anything yet. Like, my god, who are these fucking losers? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Now. Oh my god, these people are relentless at the moment. This guy doesn't have the agility either, but I'm pretty low on food because I just got attacked. I thought it'd be okay. Oh, come on. Go on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking. Go on. Yeah, you fucked it. Oh, okay, that's not a good time. Oh, fucking hell. I think we should have this. Hopefully. Okay, and he seems pretty slow on the switches, so we should be good. Oh, he's 70. Oh, no, he's got the pie. He's got the pie. He's got the pie. Oh, no, run. Oh, God. <laughs> he's 74 agility, so he must have had an agility potion or a summer pie or something on him. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, no. Fucking log straight into a maledictus. Are you kidding, right? I need to just go to the bank, don't I? <laughs> that was quite the... Uh, that was nearly me getting uh, destroyed for being arrogant. That was ridiculous. An absolutely massive trip to the Revenants. A whole invent of food down. Two PK as found. And zero loot in the looting bag. So, yeah, good fun times right there. Right, this video is long enough. I hope you all enjoyed. There are some big changes that have come alongside the website to how the channel memberships are working. The goal is to move my channel memberships away from YouTube as their integrations into other platforms is just terrible. Um, if you want to continue a membership that you already have or start a new one, then please head over to my website in the description and do so there. Through the website, I retain 95% of the revenue versus about 60% on YouTube. Alongside this, the automatic Discord integrations, improved community tab, and the automatic merch discounting make it a far superior platform for memberships for both yourselves and for me. Um, I will retain the current membership tiers for now, as I'm aware some may like to keep their memberships within the Google ecosystem. However, I have also added a new lowest tier at 99p, which is purely for if you would like to retain or get loyalty badges in the comment section. I would highly suggest that if you'd like to support at a higher tier to do so via the website for the aforementioned reasons. Having said all that, let's give a big shout out to the channel members as they are. We have at the gold tier, Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnixor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, 
Hazmat 83, Nilo 360, and Crow Poro. We also have two new members at the gold tier, so a massive thank you to them, Cluey Louie and Vandio Gaming. At the Legend tier, we are reprising El Pinin, and we are also adding two new members at the Legend tier, Come Crumpet, thanks for that one, and uh, Talfane. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It might be Talfine. I think it's Talfane, though. EI, Talfane. Yeah, let's go for that. At the Amethyst tier. No, not the Amethyst tier. The Rune tier. We are retaining Crito and Fireball Tech. Massive thanks to them. At the Amethyst tier, we are retaining Fontcest and Sir Yolo. And we are also adding a new member, Jack Stormer. Stalmer. Jack Stalmer, I'm going to go with. A massive thank you to those guys. And the big man, the big man himself, has upgraded his membership yet again to the surely not, surely tier LS. You know, carrying this channel on his back, carrying my reputation within my own household on his back with the humongous contribution in the channel membership. So a huge shout out to LS. Yeah, really appreciated. Really appreciate everyone that everyone that's a member. It's it's a massive help just to me <laughs> selling this as a sort of career internally in the household. It's like it's like a uh, it's like a business here, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's, it's 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 really great and it's really humbling to um, to know that you guys appreciate what I'm doing and are willing to are willing to support me to to, to make sure it continues. So. Thank you so much. I, I, I really do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to end the video there. Uh, it's probably plenty long, probably scraping up to an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.